Hey, this is Jerry from Bliss Studio. And in this little mini tutorial series of the mouse run following the cheese, I'm gonna set up stamina for the character. So every time you run fast, your stamina runs out. And if you're in your jog, then the stamina will go back up. And if you're ready to keep chasing the cheese, let's go. Okay, so here I am in Unity, and I wanna go ahead and I wanna continue with this development of this game. Now, currently what I have is if I hit the space bar, I can then run fast with the character. If I let go of the space bar, then I'm gonna slow the character down. So the thing that we wanna do is we wanna add some stamina, because we don't wanna always be able to allow the user to move fast in this game. What I'm gonna do is I need to first set up a UI. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a UI and I'm gonna add a UI slider. Let's go ahead and just name this slider. We'll call this stamina. And then I wanna go ahead and remove the handle because I don't need the handle in this particular instance. And then if we select the, the stamina slider, you can see that there is a value in this. The value is a normalized value. So it goes from zero to one and that represents percentage. So zero is 0% zero and one is 100%. What I wanna do is I wanna be able to control the amount of the fill that's in this. I'm gonna go ahead and just increase the size a little bit, update the colors. So I wanna make this 200 wide. I don't necessarily like it being clear up in the middle of my game. I'm gonna move it down a little bit and then I wanna go ahead and update the background color. So I'm gonna take the background color and let's just make that maybe a darker blue something a little warmer. And then I also wanna go ahead and update the fill area. So I'm gonna take the fill and I'm gonna go ahead and change the color of that as well. I'm gonna make that something a little brighter. Cool, so that way we have some contrast. Now, if we go ahead and take our stamina, I can take the value and move it to 100%. Let me go ahead and just zoom into the bar. You can see that I have an area that's not filled. So if we look at our fill area, you can see that I have a rect transform and that allows me to stretch to a certain point. So currently right now, there's a little more on the right side than there is on the left side. Now this is built into Unity because it's covered up with the handle. But now that we remove the handle, we don't need that spacing anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and I can either make both the left and the right zero. But I'm gonna go ahead and just leave the left as five. I'm gonna change the right to five as well. And then you can see it really just fills it completely. Cool, so we now have that set up. I'm gonna go ahead and just change my canvas name to UI in game. Now what I wanna do is go back to my Playmaker game manager. And the thing that I wanna do here, if I'm in my jog state, I wanna continually fill the stamina. If I'm in my fast run, I wanna deplete that stamina really quickly. Let's go ahead and start with our fast run first. So the first thing I need to do is I actually need a stamina variable. So I'm gonna create a variable and we'll have this be a float variable and I'm gonna call this stamina. I'm gonna go ahead and add that. I'm gonna preset this number to one. Whenever I'm in this state, I want to deplete that. So I'm gonna take a small amount off every frame. Do a float operator. So this is a way for us to be able to take one number and subtract another number or add another number or divide. So the number that we want to subtract from is our stamina variable. So we created this variable that is currently at one, we wanna subtract from that. So here, we're gonna uncheck our variable number and we wanna choose stamina. And then what we wanna do is we wanna subtract an amount from that every frame. So let's make that a very small amount and we're gonna make that 0 0.01. One. And then I wanna go ahead and just subtract. I'm subtracting 0 0.01 from my stamina, and we're gonna store that result back as stamina. So we don't need to create a separate variable for this. And we're gonna do this every frame. Now that we're doing that, it's going to continually subtract, but I need to do a float compare because if I run out of stamina, I don't wanna allow the user to continually be in this fast run. I wanna force them to go to jog. So here we're gonna do a float compare. So we're gonna take that stamina number, and if it's at zero, then we're gonna force them to go back to our jog state. So here we're gonna check our stamina variable, 
and I want to compare that to zero once it gets depleted, then if it equals that, I want to go to my jog state. If it's less than that, I want to go to my jog state. If it's greater than that, I don't want to do anything. And we're going to make sure we have every frame checked. Same thing with our flow operator. We want to make sure this is checked every frame. Now, the next thing I need to do is if I'm depleting this number, I want to go ahead and update that slider value. So what I'm going to do is we're going to use our stamina variable to update that slider. So I'm going to go ahead and just type in slider. And you can see that we've got a bunch of different options here. And one of those is to set slider value. So I'm going to use set value. Let's go ahead and just drag this down to the bottom. And the game object that I want to update is our stamina variable. So I'm going to drag that in. And the value that we're going to update is using our stamina variable. And we also want to check this on every frame. So here we're setting our stamina and we're subtracting every frame a little bit. Then we're doing a float compare. If it gets to zero, we're going to go back to jog. And then we're also updating our slider value. So let's give that a test real quick. So here I'm jogging. If I hit my space bar, you can see I'm running out of stamina as soon as it gets to zero. Then, boom, it goes to jog. So we need to actually build our stamina back up when we're in our jog state. We can use these same actions in our jog state. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy these last three, copy those. I'm going to paste those into my jog state. So here, instead of subtracting from our stamina, we're going to add to our stamina, but we want to add at a slower rate. So instead of 0 0.01, we are going to add 0 0.005. And instead of subtract, we're going to add, and we don't need to do our float compare. So we can go ahead and just delete that. And then we're still using the UI slider set value to update that value. So let's give this a test real quick. Here I'm running and I'm depleting my stamina. As soon as I get to zero, it goes back to jog. And now you'll see that it's continually growing back to that 100%. And then if I go into my run state, you can see that I'm depleting it again. Then I'm going back to, then I'm going back to jog. So there you go. There's a stamina bar for your game. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and it's something you can use for your game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.